Hello everyone, in this video, we'll be covering chapter 23, which is high inflation. Now let's start this chapter with government deficit. Now for those who don't know what government deficit is, it is when government's expenditure is more than their revenue. Now they have two options in hand in order to cover this deficit or finance this deficit. Number one is borrow. They can borrow money from any institution or banks. And the second is printing currency. Okay. Also keeping in mind that from previous videos we've learned that government cannot actually print money so it will have to sell bonds to central bank and make sure they buy it because only when RBI will buy that bond then they can supply them money right and this process is called debt monetization. Usually, government makes sure that they don't print currency in order to finance their debt. This is because printing currency comes with a lot of a lot of adverse effects. But what happens? is during inflation, hyperinflation, something happens that forces government to take loans, to print currency, I mean. Now, one of the main reason is budget crisis. By budget crisis, I mean either there has been a revolution recently in a country which ended up destroying its ability to collect taxes destroyed ability to collect taxes or second aftermath of a war which means that the revenue has constantly declined but expenditures remained constantly high and the third is economic shock which means that there has been decline in raw material price of raw material or so now, in such cases, the def debt is so high that usually institutions don't agree to lend money to them in order, I mean, because these institutions are afraid that the government will not be able to repay them. And this is when the only option left with government is to print currency. And the whole story of senior age starts again. So in our next video, we'll be talking about senior age and its formula. Thank you.